Hey guys, welcome to Path to Nowhere. And we have here Stargazer. We're gonna do her build today. We're starting off with her skill priority. And uh, let's me let me just move this away. Okay, so skill wise, priority is normal, ultimate, passive, passive. First is going to be her victory star. Her ultimate, definitely this is her bread and butter if um, you may call it that. So this increases every star's damage output. So definitely sh she's going to be niche in some of the content that you're going to be going to. She's not really going to be applicable to most of the content in the game. But there are going to be stages that you will definitely need her um and you will need her stars okay so first priority is her ultimate next is her first passive which is all astral guidance this one on the other hand also gives the stars additional damage this additional damage is on multiple um damage to the same enemy in a short time so this stacks up to five times so uh, the maximum is at 72, so that's a big damage if you want to stack that up five times. So definitely, you're going to increase the damage at Victory Star. Next is Astral Guidance. More damage for continuous damage to a single target. And the third will be Realm of Truth. Okay, so this one is when a star dies, it blows up. And this one uh, levels up the damage of the dying star so this is up to 360 uh, when you have two stars you can actually summon a third one so that the first one will die out or will explode that is actually one of the strategies for her and definitely the last one will be celestial phenomenon um, this is going to be through her attack for her basic attack or normal attack so again just to recap Victory Star, Astral Guidance, Realm of Truth, and last one is Celestial Phenomenon. Okay, so moving on to her crime brand. Most of the magic dealers or magic users in this game would want to have this crime brand. So Glory 1, 2, and 3 because it enhances magic damage plus 15%. I assume because the stars get their mag magic damage from her it also applies to her because this is this percentage is applied to her so supposedly it applies to them as well hopefully the damage received doesn't apply to them but again um this makes sense for her and for the stars that she's with um attack is here hp and magic damage increase was um bonuses are here 19.2 for magic damage increase attack is 2.5 hp and damage taken increase is 25 percent so again these are one of the best um crime brands that you could put on a magic user because they're usually at the back so do not hesitate to use this set okay moving on to deployment role okay guys so this is more or less a sample deployment of what she does but again she will be deploying her stars along the field and you have here the path wherein your enemies will go through ideally you deploy the stars wherein they would not encounter any um enemies so this one um just they're just going to have to uh, go through her until she charges up preferably you put the stars where they can bottleneck a little bit of damage so again the stars will have more damage as they you know deal it with the same enemy so it gradually increases let's uh, take out the boss here um, I don't think I'd be... So let's uh, just put another one here. So that is more or less what the stars are there for. So let's do four break. So star number one dies. Can summon another one. So as... 
as they you know as they deal um continuous summons to a specific or a a single enemy again the damage increases so that is it let's do another one another round let's do a more difficult one um with the next one here start at 60. i'm gonna be deploying the same team but i'm going to change up the this one so we can let's do shield at this point <clears throat> Okay, so same team, but uh, more defensive. I want to stay longer in this battle. So, again, um, you can't place that one came in. So, with this one... Okay. The two came in. Let's just destroy. Okay. Placing another one on top. So that damage ma will be absorbed. Okay. There you go. So, second one died. I don't know why. Kind of, I think, missed it. I don't know where. Let's put a that bugger there at the back. There you go. No, really don't need, didn't need a shield at that point. But again, I was hoping that the battle would uh, kind of extend. So again, placement of the stars is crucial. They need to be placed where they can stay long. You can you can use them as father, you know, uh, on the front, but again, they won't stay long to deal that much damage. Okay, so for her shackle level, definitely you will need um, the summon creature damage increase. This is nice, but you will need to go here. Number four, Stargazer recovers five energy when Victory Star disappears because what this does, it you can spam it as quick as you can you can actually kill off the last the, the first one that came in and spam the skill because of um this one the five energy recovery so the sum of the, the creature damage is good but number four is one of the things that you need to look out for and also number two gains 20 attack bonus after 10 seconds on the field Okay, so is she worth it for phase three? So let's go through her exclusive crime brand. So new exclusive, Ultimate Dreamland. Stargazer leads the victory stars on the battle, dealing 60% of attack damage. Magic damage to enemies within the 3x3 three three squares around herself and all the victory stars. Dreamland lasts for 8 seconds. Any action taken during the effect. Well, we'll interrupt it. Dreamland can only be used once per battle. So this one, this serves as additional damage. It actually spreads from, from the center. It um, uh, gives damage to nine squares around the stars. It's additional damage. They already have their own damage, but this one makes them, you know, um, makes them you know, deal more damage. So, um... I'm on a fence with this one. Not really that special at this point. So probably say that Stargazer would be, you know, the ones that I would uh, phase three, you know, the last ones. Because again, she is already useful even without phase three. So I would, you know, leave it up to you if you want to phase three her. But for me, I don't think she's an urgent at phase three. Probably down the line, but not at the start with your core team so that is it guys those are my thoughts on stargazer um what are your thoughts and put them down in the comment section so stay safe take care this is the warden and i'm out of here